things and I explained who I was. She is very motivated and determined and she literally studies dance dance revolution like she's doing it out of text but she's very technical so she practices probably five six hours a day to get to the level that she's at the time. So she's very motivated. My relationship with Jamie, the very first national champion of South African dance game. I met him on Instagram back in 2020 when I saw his past videos about the early 2000s of dance attribution. I was like, what? There was a community back in the early 2000s? How so? The thing with PC, right? She has this, this aura or this energy about her and this personality that when she plays the game, she becomes one with the game. So a lot of people just do it, so they lose interest. But she was dedicated, she went on and on and on, and you could see that the that, that spirit she was like determined to get to a point where no one else could be. Accuracy to master that discipline in dance gaming, it takes a lot of time because of the difficulty to conceptualize it into a concrete information. This is like mathematics. The higher you do mathematics, the more difficult it gets to conceptualize abstract information, be able to visualize it and apply it yourself. When I see a dance, it actually brings back memories from all those years ago. Um, and we reached a point where there was nobody was doing anything anymore. So one day she contacted me, uh, we got to find went to anyone. I saw a play for the first time and I was completely blown away. And that actually brought me out of retirement. So I still play uh, now and again, but before I was completely retired. So I would hope that she'd compete more in international tournaments. Um, she is the best in South Africa. There's no two ways about it. So if she can perform in more international tournaments, then that would be great. So my hopes and dreams for my future as a dance gamer, I'm going to split into two divisions. One for myself and a part of myself in terms of what I want for my community, especially everything I've gone through, the adversity that I've got here as a dance gamer. I want the future, not just of African, but African dance games as well, to have a better life in dance games than I've done. First of all, I want to finish university here in South Africa so I can go study overseas and continue my career that I'm doing in university and also continue improving my international life as a dance gamer. maximum of 10 minutes because it was more information we gave out that was not included in the interview but I understand that the that the production team had to um, set the entire clip or the entire interview according to how long they could keep it up because they had to put other episodes of other games that are happening in South Africa and I understand that completely the information that has not been shown within the interview there is two information that has not been shown in detail. Number one, Jamie's freestyle. <laughs> Jamie did do a freestyle back 
during when we were recording this back in 25th February. Mind you, this was all recorded back on 25th February. So I was really eager to hear about freestyle talks a little bit there and there. See what I mean? that has not been mentioned in the video is on a particular dance gamer, an avid dance gamer here in South Africa whose hard workers deserve to be credited here. I'll share what he has done. His gamer name is Luce slash DDR27 or he goes by the name of Lucian. So Lucian is an avid South African dance gamer that has heavily contributed resources to improve the quality of dance gaming here in our country, particularly in the KwaZulu-Natal community. Luce DDR27's work that he had contributed towards the South, South African community was in regards to cabinet maintenance, whether it was software or hardware. And without him, we wouldn't be at the stage where we are with dance gaming. So much detail I've given about his work was in that interview. But honestly, all the responsibility goes up to the video producers who have to decide what clips do they want to add, especially with the questions that they were giving. Because even though they did give personal questions that were towards me, I also wanted to give a spotlight. Like, I was like on full force giving information what is also happening within the community as well. So, I just wanted to give my two cents through this video on... What was going on? What was going on on 25th February when we wanted to share all this information to be shown publicly on television? So, how I view this interview, I really want this interview to be the catalyst to bring back our lost gems in South Africa. We are looking for all our players all around the nation to finally give back our true community. Whether it's new players that are introduced to the dance gaming world for the very first time or existing players, but since the past years when the South African community wasn't so strong and now we finally have gotten back, they can come back to us. Especially that this interview is on national television, so everyone in the nation is watching it. And I sincerely hope that this can be the catalyst, one of, one of the catalysts to reignite back what we can call a true South African dance gaming community as the years go by. Because I know that we have so much hidden gems in our country, but it's so hard to reach out to every province in this country to try and find our players. And we need to use virtual resources or opportunities we get to be able to make these goals happen to find to continue finding our people so that one day we can have a big community a big community that can be um that can flourish that can grow and that can show so much power on what south africa has on what it takes to make a lot of legacies in international dance gaming. That is the whole reason the interview exists.